if you are a student then you know the pain of trying to learn something and struggling with it so in today's video i thought let me share some of the brain hacks that i have used from the time that i was a student even today uh, to help me learn better if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet do so i'm dr siddharth warrior i'm a neurologist and welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to talk about five brain hacks that i routinely use to learn better hack number 1 is to blur the lines your brain does not really know what is academics and what is not academics to your brain every new information is just that new information and you can either remember it or ignore it we make the difference that something is for your exams and something is for a fun new game you are learning so why not blur that line why not take whatever you are learning in your academics some new fact from your textbook and use it in your everyday life try to bring it in routine conversations when you're sitting with your family or friends just make up some anecdote about something new that you've learned try to make jokes around it and your brain will find that oh this information is useful it's getting some laughs it is getting some reactions from my friends let me remember it better so this is a way of increasing the value of a new information by blurring that line hack number 2 is self quizzing So when I learn something new after a couple of days I try to set up a quiz for myself and these days with ChatGPT it is even easier so you can just ask ChatGPT to set up a 10 question quiz for you on a particular topic and you can see how many of those you get so the advantage here is when you are learning something your brain is using a certain set of networks but two days later when you are quizzing yourself your brain is using another set of networks to bring that information back so using both of these will make sure that that memory that new thing you've learned is embedded deeper in your brain not only does this help your memory it also makes learning a bit more fun and an added advantage is that once you do the quiz and suppose you don't get a few questions you will now go back to your textbook read that information and now you will process that information much better because now you are trying to answer a question that you got wrong so that you may also take a little personally hack number 3 is to teach a 5 year old Now you may have heard this phrase explain like I'm 5. Basically what it means is if you can take a complex topic and make it so simple that even a 5 year old can understand it that means that you have understood that topic well. Because remember to make a topic interesting you have to be interested. So find some family member or some friend make them sit down and tell them for the next 5 minutes I'm going to teach you this amazing thing that I've learned and watch as you yourself get more invested in that thing you've learned. Hack number 4 is to make it fun. Now the brain does this interesting thing where any fact that is associated with some emotion your brain will give more value to it. So if you look back on your life and you think of all the things that you remember from your past you'll notice that all those events had some emotion attached they could be happy memories sad memories angry memories but it is that emotion that adds the value and makes that memory more sticky so if you are learning something new why don't you add the emotion why don't you make it fun So if you were to open my textbook you'll find a lot of scribbles on the side I may have made some random emojis I would have put a sticky note and added some joke some anecdote about that thing that I've read anything the more absurd the better and these are things that are significant just for you you don't have to justify it to anybody else but if you can find a way to bring some emotion into that new thing you're learning your brain will remember those things better and finally hack number 5 is move to learn now if you look back at evolution for the last millions of years your brain has evolved for one reason it is to make you move more efficiently all the learning all the processes in your brain is for that one reason to move so when you are sitting in a desk and reading from a book your body is not moving even though your brain is working super hard but your brain will remember things better if you are moving so one way you can use this hack is take something you want to learn and just walk around the room while you are thinking about it you can either repeat it to yourself or just think in your mind but while you are walking around your brain will remember those things more another technique that is a personal favorite of mine is doodling 
So when you learn something new, just keep a blank sheet of paper with you and a pen and just write whatever comes to your mind. Just write random words, draw random lines, make squiggles, make shapes. It doesn't matter as long as there is some output from your brain to your hand. And as long as you're scribbling something, you will find that you're able to manage that information better. And very often what I have found is I draw these little flow charts and diagrams because I'm trying to visualize the new thing that I'm learning. And that helps me remember things better. Very often I end up throwing away those notes because they are practically meaningless, but then I can convert those rough notes into proper notes and that stays in my memory for a long time. So to sum up, if you are trying to make learning more efficient, here are the five brain hacks. Number one is to blur the lines between academics and non-academics. Number two is to start quizzing yourself. Number three is to teach that new thing to somebody like their five year old. Number four is to make things fun by adding more emotions. And number five is to start moving while you're learning either as walking around or by doodling. If you found this video useful, hit the like button, share this video with Anyone that you know who might be giving an exam, giving me, JE, share this in your family WhatsApp groups because you never know who might find use for a video like this. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone. Take care.